Oh god, this car is so hard to drive right now. <laughs> You'd have no idea. Oh, look at that back. <laughs>
words. Anyway, look, I don't do the car stuff. I'm just the guy that tells you to go here and make a pretty mess. <laughs> I've had it. Oh, the writing is so good. I hope they make a sequel to this. All right, so this one seems pretty straightforward. There's a ramp. We jump from it into the intersection. How do you mean? What else do you need? Oh, yeah. <laughs> Beautiful. Oh, that was so awesome. And there's a taxi. Oh, that could not have gone more perfect. In the first take, no less. The first try. We landed directly on that van. 103000 $380. Do you think I could pull that off twice in a row? I kind of want to try that again. Right, here we go. Are we still going to land on it? Ooh, no, barely not. Oh, shit. Something is on fire, though. I think that might have been me. I don't know. But that was a pretty spectacular crash. Fire makes everything infinitely more badass. Nobody knows why. But I think we did less damage that time. So I'm going to do that one more time just because I want to get a good score. All right, so you kind of have to go to the left if you want to land directly on the van. Yes, there we go. Oh, shit. Oh, God. <laughs> we have a rollover accident on our hands now. Oh, that H-Series got royally fucked up. And so did this Hiroshi sunburst, by the way. He probably deserves it, though, for that atrocious color on his car. I'm sorry if you think that's attractive, but I just, just no, no. Oh, boy, another time trial. This one's called Content Warning. It says, I just had to migrate all of our stuff to another video host as deliberately crashing into traffic violates the terms of service of the current one. Evidently, it's too dangerous and criminal for street racing and vandalism time web. So we'll be doing a bit more racing while we make nice with the new site. Damn, okay, I guess it got taken down <laughs> all our videos, so we're gonna have to go to a new, new website. I heard Pornhub is a good alternative to YouTube, so uh, I think that's actually blue. Anyway, yeah, I heard Pornhub is actually a good alternative for YouTube, so if, uh, YouTube ever tanks, you guys know where you're gonna find me. As we make our way down the parking garage in our banana colored Pessima, I can only imagine what is gonna be ahead of us. I hope there's some jumps. I see some traffic already. Oh boy, oh boy. Oh god! Okay, he's coming straight at me. That's a piece of shit, Covet. Anyway, I'm not worried about that thing. But yeah, this is a pretty, a pretty straightforward uh, time trial we have here. Ooh, it's nice to get a kind of a change of pace from the regular just crashing straight into traffic. You know, that really doesn't get old, but it's nice to have a little bit of a change of pace and do an actual racing event. Oh, God, more traffic. Ooh, uh, no, we're, we're too slow for that guy. Don't break our tires. <gasps> Fuck. No, oh, okay, okay, we're fine. We're fine. <laughs> we're fine. Don't sweat the little stuff. I think our tires are popped. But I, I think we can still do this. Oh god, it's getting hard to control now. That was the same turn that fucked me up in the hunt where we were chasing down that vehicle. Uh, that figures. Anyway, there's more traffic. You know, this is a very not populated city considering how big it is. I mean, it's not the biggest city in the world. But you would think there'd be a... <laughs> Sorry. You would think there'd be a little bit more traffic, but I understand that. Uh, to keep the game running smooth, you kind of have to keep it to a minimum, but that's okay. Oh, God, this car is so hard to drive right now. <laughs> You'd have no idea. Oh, look at that back <laughs> I feel like if I turn too much to the right, the tire is just going to completely just pop off. And we missed the checkpoint. Okay, you know what? Let's just restart. All right, so we have to be on the lookout for that turn because it'll, it'll fuck me up every time, apparently. So, yeah, we had to be very careful about that, but I think we should be okay if we can get past that without self-harm. Ooh, that was a nice little drift he got there. Somebody in the comments was like, just lay off the accelerator when you're doing that and you'll probably have a better time. And you know what? I did. I don't even know why I didn't know that. Apparently, I'm not good with cars. Who would have thought? All right, so far, so good. This uh, banana pessima is pretty much in tip-top shape right now. And here is the dreaded turn coming up, so we have to be very, very careful. All right, careful, careful. Okay, come on. Start slowing down now. There we go. And he break. Oh, there we go. That was absolutely beautiful. Okay, just just don't fuck up the tires, and I think we should be a-okay. All right, so how the hell am I supposed to? Oh, shit. Okay, yeah, that, that dude just totally brake checked me, and I kind of screwed up the front right, but I think we're still going to be okay. This thing just wants to turn a little bit to the right. God damn you fucking traffic. Well, there's like four cars in the whole city, and that dude screws me up. I guess it was just tr strategically placed very nicely. And did I miss the fucking checkpoint again? Holy fuck. Oh, yeah. Okay, I think I have pretty much mastered that turn. It's just this guy right up here. I don't know how to get around him without, like, severely screwing up my tires. 
Alright, and he like brake checks the entire time. What the hell are you doing? You're an asshole, man. You're a fucking asshole. <laughs> Alright, here we go. I got a rhythm going now. It's just, it's it, if it's not the curb fucking me up though, it's the the triggers for the uh, checkpoints not registering, but I think I got it now. You basically have to go straight through the middle of the thing to to register it, so but I, th I think I got it now, so I think we should be a-okay. And how many do we have? We have two left, so... Oh, God, where's the last one? Ooh, come on. Ooh, don't spin out. Oh, and you spin out. Okay, I think we're still doing pretty good on time, though. So there's the last checkpoint right there. Let's just go straight across it as fast as we can. I don't even care about running into the wall. Yes! Beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. There we go. Success. 205 minutes. Or, no, 205 minutes. 2 minutes, 5 seconds. I think that's pretty damn good. Whoa. Okay, we're at nighttime now, and it says three-way. Ah, nightlife. A cityscape of clubs, bars, crime lit in alleyways, and probably vampires somewhere. Peaceful. A shame that we're about to wake this sleepless city. Uh, I'm not seeing any of those things, but to each their own, I guess. There is streetlights up there. So can we actually turn on our, our window, or our lights? Ah, oh, okay, there we go. Okay, so where are we crashing into? I see, I think I see a car up there. I'm gonna turn on the brights here. Oh, yes, there's a car right there. Let's just go ahead and smash straight into him. And, oh man, there's a little pest mode right in the wrong place at the wrong time. The right place at the wrong time. There we go. We kind of just barely grazed that Covette because our H-Series decided it was a good time to take flight. So we might not get as many points as we could have. And why does the road look wet? That's kind of cool. That's a nice effect. Oh god, there's more Tosh! <laughs> there's a fucking T-Series out of nowhere. Oh man, that car got completely fucked up. And we still failed. You didn't do enough damage. Probably because we didn't hit that other guy. So let's go ahead and do that one more time. Alright, so hopefully our H-Series decides to not take flight this time. There we... I mean, it did. But oh, we got solid, solid contact on that Pessima there, and the Covet got away again. Oh, fuck off. Okay, let's try a different approach, maybe hitting the right side of it and kind of trying to send that car to the left into that oncoming Covet. Yeah, that, that sounds good. Let's do that. All right, here we go. I like this method better, and whoosh! Oh, that's it. That's it. Right into the Covet, you bastard. And then we are all going to get a, annihilated by this T-Series coming down the hill at a million miles an hour. I mean, not really, not really going that fast, but that Covet's about to get shit on, come on! Yeah! <laughs> hey, my lights still work. I didn't really mess myself up that much, but everybody else got pretty fucked up, not gonna lie. And we still failed, what? Oh, I got almost $100,000 in damage, how much do I need? Oh, okay. <laughs> Of course, you need a hundred thousand. Okay. Well, that method worked pretty good, so I think I'm gonna continue to do that because I think that's the best chance we have of getting to that hundred thousand mark. So let's go ahead and uh, aim for the right side. Got to remember the right side of this car, so it goes directly into that car there. Oh shit! Oh no! Oh no! Oh, we are flipping! Oh, we flipped the car! <laughs> Thank you, Sticky Physics. Oh yes. And that car is directly in the path of- oh no. Oh god. Oh, the humanity. Oh, is that- please tell me that's enough damage. That has to be a hundred thousand in damage right there. Come on now. Hey, there we go. A hundred and twenty-two thousand sixty-eight dollars and forty cents. Holy hell. That is gonna be a hell of a mess to pick up. Alright, so we're back in the Banana Pessima, and this one is called The Meeting, and it's an assassination, assassination challenge. And we're looking for a black Grand Marshal, of course, and it says the Intel guy is still missing in action. And I'm starting, starting to get worried about him. Anyway, we've got a jackpot target sitting on the second floor of the parking complex. Somebody's paying a lot of money for this, and they even thought to request you for the job by name. That's an on, a high honor for a newbie. So yeah, it's kind of that's kind of scary. Our Intel guy is still fucking gone. So wow, the story is getting way deeper than I thought it was gonna be. So yeah, let's go find this fucker. He's on the second floor, and we're looking for a Grand Marshal Lux. Oh yeah, in style. There we go. All right, where is this? Oh, he's right there. Oh shit. Whoa. New text message. Your car will move when we tell it to. Holy shit. I don't think we've been properly introduced. My name is Mark Freeland, 
It's the name doesn't ring a bell, then we've been doing a good job keeping a low profile. I'm here because for the last few weeks, you have been knocking my associates off the road. Now, don't worry, I'm not mad. In fact, I love your work. Inspired, so chaotic, and that's what I want to talk to you about. I want you to work for me. Lots of fun opportunities, lots of destruction, not half bad pay. You can stay at the little crash club too. And there's a catch, they don't seem to like me. Don't mention we talked. And I'll let you in on a handful of small jobs just to see out. Until then, though, I've got work to do. I'll keep in touch. And we get music! <laughs> what the hell? Oh, that is so cool. Hello, hello, you all right? Okay, good. Damn, he must have slipped something into the car while we weren't looking. We'll talk about this later. Holy shit, guys. The <laughs> the storyline on this is amazing. I've never seen anything like this in Beam and G before. That is so cool. Holy hell. Okay, so that, that guy was like a... He kind of has like a crash club. I don't know, but... We've been fucking him up, and I was doing such a good job that he wants us to work for him. So that's that's pretty damn awesome, guys. All right, so we have one mission left, and hopefully this kind of wraps up the uh, the cam hit campaign. The campaign here it says evening post disaster at dusk. It's a, just a crash event, so I don't know. That whole interaction was just really, really, really impressive, especially for BMNG. I I kind of want to know how he did that. That's so cool. Anyway. Evening post, let's try to keep our cool. Yesterday was a big shock. Anyway, it turns out that this vehicle, this whole destroying really big stuff is panning out quite well for us in recency. And you know what they say, if it's still cool, don't do it until it isn't. Yeah, that's pr pretty much how I feel about BeamNG. Anyway, we'll talk about Freeland soon enough. All right, so I guess we're just supposed to smash everything in sight. There's a car right next to us. Is he gonna move? I don't know. Oh, slow, mo slow motion activated. All right, so I guess we're just supposed to smash straight into this uh, work truck here. That makes sense to me. And there's another train, yes! Oh, we are gonna absolutely obliterate it. Oh my god, oh my god. This is gonna be amazing, and I missed the truck. That's okay, <laughs> holy shit. Oh my god, okay, here comes the other car. I kind of blew, the, I kind of screwed the pooch there. I missed the jump. That would have been way cooler. We'll do it again though. And we absolutely destroyed this tram. Oh my god. That's going to be a lot of damage. Hey, we did it. We caused 47,800. That's like not a lot. I want to do that again. All right, I hope this lines up. If I, if I go off this jump and completely miss the tram, I'm going to be a little bit upset, but it looks like it's going to line up pretty good. And oh yes. Holy. <laughs> It. We destroyed the fuck out of that truck and the tram. Look at that. It's a thing of beauty. And here comes the Moonhawk. Come on, baby. Come on. And smash. There we go. So this is just a clusterfuck right here. That's for sure. And we did $42,346. That really, that still doesn't seem like a lot. But, you know, I'm not going to argue with it. All right, guys, so that was it for the Crash Junctions. That was a honestly a pretty big cliffhanger, so it almost seems like they are planning on making a sequel to this, and I honestly cannot wait. So, yeah, if you see this creator, this was an absolutely fucking amazing experience, especially for BMG. This was, like, on the level of the devs. Maybe even better, so definitely don't stop. Don't don't get discouraged, because that was amazing. I know it was kind of a collaborative project. So, yeah, Occam's Razor. Fairly, that was fucking amazing. Good job, guys. And that's going to end it for this video. Make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. And I'll talk to you guys in the next video. See ya.